guys, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Uh, in this Xcode tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add a, or basically combine, a navigation controller with a tab bar. And in that navigation controller, I'm also going to teach you how to use a UI table view. Um, now, if you don't know how to set up a tab bar application, or you don't know how to set up a navigation controller, um, I recommend you go check out my either tab bar tutorial there or my UI table view tutorials there otherwise you'll kind of be a bit confused by what I'm doing in this tutorial um, so if we just build and run uh, and I'll explain exactly what I'm gonna do so you don't get slightly confused um, so here we have our calculator and eventually there'll be a calculator on this screen here what I want to do is change this item 2 into a tab that contains a UI navigation controller and that UI navigation controller will contain a um, a root view controller, which will be a UI table view controller. And I want this tab to be full of useful calculations the person can use. So in the table view controller, it will say stuff like area of a square, area of a circle, and other stuff like that. And they can click on that cell, and it will push a view telling them the details of that. So for area of a square, it will be um, whatever the sides are squared obviously or area of a, um, a circle will be 2 pi r squared or something like that. I don't really know the <laughs> things I do know them but I can't remember them right now so that's the aim of my application so first what I need to do is import my image for this tab so I have one over here called area um, and that's what it looks like so I'm gonna drag that in and copy items and finish I uh, don't know what happened there, crash, but I'm going to carry on and hopefully it will be okay. So we're just going to go through it now. So first what we need is our UI navigation controller. So in here in the .m we're going to make our UI navigation controller. So app property, non-atomic, retain, IB outlet, UI navigation controller, star, nav, bar. And that's our UI navigation controller and we're going to assign that to tab 2. So we're going to go into the .m here and just synthesize it. Uh, so navbar, space equals space, navbar. And we're also going to release it down here. So underscore navbar, release. Um, and that's it done. We don't need to do anything else because we can do it all in Interface Builder. Um, so we're going to go into Interface Builder here. And we're going to open up our tab bar controller. And as I said, we're going to be assigning this to tab 2. However, at the moment, Tab 2 is of type UI view controller. Now, as we all know, we just made a UI navigation controller. So this view controller won't comply. So we need to delete it and drag in over here a new UI view uh, UI navigation controller. So that's what it looks like here, orange circle with a weird back button on it. We're going to drag that out over here. And that is now our new navigation controller item. So we can save that. Now lastly we need to connect it with our tab bar delegate, so select your delegate, go over to the action uh, outlets uh, tab here and drag from navbar down to your, well that won't work because that's actually a tab so we're going to have to go over here and drag it to our navigation controller like so. So now we've connected that we can build and run and hopefully we will see our navigation controller within item. And as you can see, we have a thing here called root view controller, and we have a blank view. Um, so that's exactly what we wanted. So now what we need to do is add a table view controller in there. So we're going to have to create that new table view controller. So we're going to create a new file here, UI table, uh, UI view controller subclass, uh, and make it UI table view controller down here. I'm going to call it useful calculations, calculations, like so and save and create whatever so here we have our table view controller so now we're going to go back into the .m and we have our table view controller so now what we need to do is select our navigation controller from the view hierarchy down here and we're going to go into that and select its root view controller now as you can see this root view controller is of type UI view controller so again this won't work we need a table view controller not a view controller so we're going to have to delete that and drag out a new view here, uh, a new table view controller, uh, um, view controller here. Uh, so we're going to drag that out. And as you can see, we have our new table view controller appearing here in our view. 
and what we need to do is tell this table view controller to equal the useful calculations class we just made. So we're going to select our table view controller, go over here to the third tab where we can change its class, select from the drop down arrow our useful calculations class. So now that will allow us to control that table view from our code. So now we can build and run and hopefully see our table view controller embedded within the navigation controller. And we do. Perfect. That's what we wanted. We wanted the navigation controller to be um, to have a root view controller embedded in it. So that's what we have. So now what I'm going to do is just change the icon and the title of the tabs and stuff. So we can do that all at once via code in the useful calculations.m. So if we go in here and go into the view did load, we can change its title to so we can go self.title space equals space and then just give a string so useful calculations like so. Um, sorry for any spelling mistakes, guys. Uh, I don't know if I'm spelling these wrong, but if there are any, I'm sorry. Um, and also we can change its tab bar image. So to do that, we have to open brackets. We have to go self.tabbar item because we know it's in a tab bar, so we can grab this property. Uh, and then we can go set image, and then we can give it the image. So image, image named uh, area.png, I believe it was. And you saw me drag that in earlier. So now we can stop, run again, and hopefully we shall see the tab change with a nice title there. So as you can see, we have a new image, we have a title change, and as you can see, the navigation bar has also changed its title. And that's that. So now what you can do is set up this uh, tab uh, table view controller much like you would set up a normal table view. So you'd have a detail view controller, you'd populate this with arrays, and when they click on the detail view, it will push a new view. So I'm going to go off now. I'm going to create all of that, and I'll be back to show you kind of what I've done. Now, I won't show you how to do it because I already have a tutorial out there on UI table view controllers and teaching you how to use them and do basically what I'm about to do. So I'll just do that and I'll be back in a minute to show you how it works. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see I've done a bit of code here. Sorry for the abrupt stop but I sped this up because I spent too long on it. You can basically see what I did in my UI table view series but I created a detail view and pushed that detail view with an array of dictionaries. So that's what I did and that's why I sped it up. So yeah. We can go here, we can click uh, view here, and you can see it tells me the the calculation I need. I go back, you can see here it tells me the calculation I need, and it can, tells me the calculation I need. So as you can see, it's set, it's set up exactly like a normal navigation controller and table view controller would be set up. So if you watch my other table view controller tutorials, you know what I'm talking about here. Um, so yeah, that's how you do that. Um, I've kind of run out of things to do with a tab bar controller here, guys, because it's really simple. It's literally just that. So um, if you have any questions, ideas, or whatever, tell me what you like to do in these tutorials, um, what else you need to know about a table view, uh, a tab bar controller, and I'll let you know. So there you go, guys. That's how you create uh, a navigation controller inside a tab bar. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at FailcakeApps. Uh, don't forget to click on some of the adverts in my videos because they always help. And uh, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. So again, thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.